Well, here we are. Very strange feeling this because I've actually got the bonnet up and there's nothing to do on the engine. So this is a follow-up to us getting a new engine fitting in our Volkswagen T5, the 2.5 AXD. And there it is all in there. Nothing really to see, you know. Got all the old bits on top, all the old bits bolted around the outside. But the block is pretty much uh, classified as a zero miles block. Very interesting wearing in a brand new engine because even when you get these from uh, the manufacturers, they're usually worn in partially for you. Um, what can I say really? Well, we had a bit of a misfortune because I did record a whole lot more video and uh, I think I've sucked a micro SD card up the vacuum cleaner somewhere because I've lost all the footage after I took the SD card out. Uh, so I don't really have anything to show like I had the initial starting up of it. Um, I had the initial first journey which didn't go well. We did have some problems with the injector loom and that needed to be replaced as well. Uh, I did have all of that. And then we also went on a 300 mile like burn-in trip and we monitored the oil. Then we've done an oil change on it about 500 miles in, put fresh oil in, new filter. And since then I've done about 1,000, 2,000 miles. And what can I report? Well, one, it sounds great. Two, there's loads more power. And I'll see if I can put a photo in that I had on my phone. But essentially, the old engine, we did find the problem. Okay, well, here is the damaged bore. We can see... That one's not too bad, that one's not too bad. Have a look in here, you can see some really deep scoring all the way in there. Literally feels like you could poke a cocktail stick down into some of those. Uh, what, two or three millimetres deep? Same on the other side. It's good we found something wrong in there anyway. Basically gone, there was no piston ring on it. The cylinder was scored so badly you could have dropped cocktail sticks down there into the sump. It was a right mess, so it was really good to find a major problem with the engine. Because every specialist I've been to, everyone who knows these, couldn't put their, you know, couldn't quite put their finger on what the issue was. You know, it clunked, it banged, it could have been bottom end bearing, it could have been cam issues. Let's see if I can find some comparison videos here to actually do a little kind of before and after sound test. So this is it starting before the work. And this is it starting cold the work. So a little bit more about the benefits of this new engine is one, the uh, noise reduction. Well, on a cold morning, it was really, really clanking. You know, it could literally sound like metal banging on metal or piston grinding uh, cylinder away. The other problem we were having was the huge amount of oil it was consuming. So we were putting in probably about a liter of oil every 50 to 150 miles. Um, if we were coasting downhill, I think the vacuum was sucking oil straight up into the piston and blowing out the back because we get clouds, clouds of smoke. Uh, blue smoke, white smoke, getting white smoke and blue smoke on start-up. Um, we tried new injectors and all the rest of it, new turbo and everything that didn't solve it, but at least we've got all that now in a new engine as well. Uh, so as well as less oil consumption, there's also great fuel uh, saving. So maybe we were doing anywhere between 19 and 25 to the gallon before, and on a long run I've actually been pushing now more like 37 to 42 to a gallon so that's taking me from uh, an average of maybe 360 to 390 miles a tank and on a recent trip we did actually see 505 miles from a tank so it's made significant difference to the fuel consumption as it would dragging a, a cylinder around um, without any compression in it so yeah fantastic really happy with the job now a little bit about the costs wasn't quite what we wanted um the engine like one and uh, two and a half we ended up deciding to get a new head for it because the head wasn't good uh, got that reduced then we had to have two new injectors because two of them were really badly worn um we had clutch and jaw mass flywheel fitted we had new intercooler fitted we had two turbos sent away and tested then we had the injector loom problem oil fitting um the pain of actually the first engine we were sent we weren't happy with i'm not going to name and shame the company because they were very good at communication and they were very helpful at sorting things out so um, i'm not sure whether it was a genuine problem or not but they did sort me out so i'm, I'm not going to name and shame um, 
So I was happy with that service, happy with the fitting, and I reckon all in all it came to a whopping £6,200. Um, nearly double what I was wanting to spend, but the fact that we've got there in the end compensates it, and uh, that's what credit cards are for, I guess. Well, thanks for watching. Um, better go now and make some dinner.